I'm Bill Berry, and I have a passion for searching for tracks. As a young man, I was trained by the California State Parks to look for tracks in the desert. It's ingrained in me. As a former desert patrol ranger, I learned the importance of what is left behind in the sands of the desert, and I quickly understood the messages those tracks left for those who can follow them. Today, we're searching for tracks that are almost 80 years old. The Southern California desert and Western Arizona deserts seem to be an excellent place to prepare troops for desert warfare. In early 1942, under the command of General George Patton, the United States Army established a desert training center and stationed troops in 13 large divisional camps. Camp Young was the first of the Desert Training Center's camps and, and was one of the largest of its kind. With hundreds of structures and tents, it was a bustling training operation of almost three square miles. T Today, there's not much left of Camp Young. As you walk the grounds there, it's difficult to see the roadways. You'll oftentimes see lined rocks that the soldiers use to make pathways between tents, but it's very difficult when you're on the ground to see the details of Camp Young. I decided to go from Camp Young over to the tank training area across from Interstate 10. The area was absolutely littered with artifacts, from old rusted cans to original Jeep tires, the back seat of an old Jeep, broken glass and even an old razor blade. And the area was totally covered with old tank tracks. This Google Earth view reveals just how many tracks there are out there and what kind of activity was occurring back in 1942 and 1943. So we're out here looking at tracks that are 80 years old. Look at that. So you got those big treads pushing the sand downhill, the sand and rock downhill, making that turn. And since then, there's been an ocotillo that has grown in the middle of the tracks. Man-made tracks aren't the only thing you'll encounter out here. This small sidewinder track was right in my path and it was pretty fresh. I'm pretty sure it had occurred just within the last hour or so. It was just warm enough for the snakes to get going. So you've always got to be on the lookout. The best part of the day was my discovery of what I thought was a vehicle maintenance area in and around the tank training area. If you look at the rock lining, you can see that there are one, two, three, four vehicle bays where it looks like they parked vehicles. And around that I found um, old Jeep tires, several of them. So you know they were changing tires there. And one of the cool things, if you look, is this one tire is right in the middle of an old, old tank track. While I was looking at the maintenance area, I glanced over and saw a rusty object underneath some brush. It was the remnants of a 1942 rusted folding table. Our deserts hold many secrets, and it's always fun to get out and explore and look at the beauty of the California desert. And you'll never know what you're going to find, whether it's an old tin can that was opened by a soldier in 1942 where he sat on the rocks and consumed his rations, or a piece of broken glass from a window in an old maintenance shed. There are a lot of secrets out here, and I'm going to keep searching for those tracks in our California deserts.